Are you tired of your week running you instead of you running your week? In this video, we're going to flip the script. I'm going to offer you three of my top personal growth hacks that I use in order to conquer my weeks, man, and maintain my level of focus, uh, productivity, and just all, them, all together staying on top of my game. Let's get it. One, two, hey. I've hustled harder than most. I'm a beast on these streets, got a revolver, I told. For these niggas trying to take me off the block where I post. Up daily, sip Bailey's out the bottle and smoke. Hey, what's up with the family? What's the damn deal, man? This is Junior The Truth. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. Really, truly, genuinely appreciate it. Um, man, to, today I want to talk about us taking control of our professional and personal lives. I know that we feel overwhelmed. Uh, from time to time with all of the things that we have to get done in all of those uh, sectors. But I have three very, very simple tips that you can use in order to stay on top of your weeks and to begin and completely win your weeks day in and day out. But before we get started, I want to take the time to ask you to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and most importantly, uh, share the content. Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. I have three simple tips, though. The first one is you got to plan with a purpose. Plan with a purpose. Me, personally, um, I use the Simple Truth Minute Manual uh, Planner. Um, this is what I use to structure uh, my days and my weeks and my months. But you plan with a purpose, meaning you sit down and you actually look at the things that you have to do um, for the week. Most people just, if they use a calendar, let me say that. If they use a calendar, a lot of people, even the majority of people, just throw things on the calendar like spaghetti on the wall to see what sticks and hoping that that will help with their productivity. But I'm saying that you have to plan your weeks with a purpose. You literally have to plan. So every Sunday, what I do is I get down, I sit down with my planner and I look at what my week is going to look like and I plan the dates, I plan appointments, I, I plot where I'm supposed to be, uh, how long I'm supposed to be in those places. I have goals that I want to accomplish each week. I have habits, uh, a habit tracker that's built in to the organizer that I utilize. And I literally write out and script out my weeks so that I can literally plan with a purpose. Um, number two is prioritize like a pro. Prioritizing like a pro. We have to prioritize things, prioritize tasks, in our life, Pri prioritization in the, in the, and prioritizing is the difference between being busy and being productive. You have to prioritize. I'll give you a case in point. Like, have you ever felt in your life like you, you, you're going through that to-do list, whether it's a professional to-do list or your personal to-do list, and you're just working through that to-do list and you're checking things off, checking things off, checking things off. And then at the end of the day, you look and you feel like, You've got absolutely nothing accomplished in the grand scheme of things, right? That is because that was a lack of prioritization. You have to prioritize. You have to literally prioritize your life like a pro. Um, one of the things that I do is each day I'll have my top three priorities. So, of course, I have my overall goal of something I want to get accomplished for the week. And then I even have my to-do list of tasks that I need to get done for the week. I'll take three of those tasks each day and put them on my to-do list for the day. And this is an absolute must-have for the day. This is the thing that I absolutely have to get done for today. So my prioritization is um, at the forefront of what it is that I'm, have, that I'm trying to do. So tip number two is to prioritize like a champ. Tip number three, the last one, and probably the most important one, is to reflect and adjust. So every Sunday, I told you, I sit down and I write in my planner, fill out my planner for the week. Um, what I do when, with, with reflecting is I usually take about 15 to 30 minutes and I sit down and I reflect on the previous week. What worked? What didn't work? Um, where was my success at? Where, was my, where were my challenges? Where did I fail at? Where did I fall off? And I take that reflection into um, 
into consideration and then I make the necessary adjustments moving forward into the next week so that I don't enter into the next week tripping over the same mistakes. And this is where the personal growth happens. So you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be transparent with yourself. You have to be 100% um, um, just, just, you have to be 100% authentic with yourself with regards to reflecting and adjusting for the week prior. Um, man, that's it. <laughs> that's it. So let me recap. Let me recap. Let me recap. These tips, I know they sound simple and I know it, they sound easy, but, um, it simple doesn't mean easy. You understand what I'm saying? Simple and easy are two different things. And the thing that we have to we have to actually realize is this comes from consistently consistency. So you have to consistently employ these strategies. And if if you're consistently doing these three things on a consistent basis, then you'll notice a total change in your weeks, and you'll notice um, a change in your level of productivity, your level of focus, and ultimately your level of success. But the three things, first and foremost. Uh, in order for you to uh, master, in order for you to master your week, you got to plan like a pro. Plan like a pro. You have to plan, plan each and every waking moment. Plan. I try to plan each and every one of my waking moments during a week. Um, next, you have to prioritize like a pro. You have to prioritize. Prioritization has to be at the forefront of what it is that you're doing. And then number three is you have to reflect and you have to make adjustments. You have to reflect and adjust. You have to reflect and adjust. Okay, that's it. I tried my best to get this done as quick as possible. Those are my tips. Give me your any comments, any questions that you have. Uh, uh, leave them in the comment section. Also, feel free to come over to www.jrthetruth.com. Uh, if you want to contact me, if you want to join the Simple Truth uh, Network, if you're looking to get uh, an actual uh, planner or um, the Simple Truth Minute Man, your book, the one hour book that will change the way you watch the clock written by yours truly, Junior The Truth. You can come over to jrthetruth.com and you can find them there. But um, that's it, man. Thank you all so much for taking time to watch this video. Really, truly, genuinely appreciate you. Don't, don't forget, smash the like button, uh, hit subscribe, share the content. And man, I'm signing off, giving you a daily reminder to view your life like a pair of dice until your life looks like a pair of dice, man. I'm a hardborn player, made. If you don't know anything else about me at the end of the day, I got to keep pushing, baby.